Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about atomic force microscope based infrared spectroscopy or in short we call it AFMIR. Atomic force microscope is a widely used powerful technique to study the surface of the material or sample. It has a very high resolution, even more than 1000 times better than the optical diffraction limit. The sharp tip of AFM is attached to the free end of cantilever which gathers a surface image by touching or feeling the surface. A laser beam and a detector is used to record the cantilever response. The deep sample interaction in the ups and down of the surface drives the cantilever into oscillation. The deep is raster scanned through the sample and the height of the deep along with the position of the surface is recorded. The resulting map gives the surface topography. However, AFM does not have any intrinsic ability to discriminate materials on the basis of chemical composition, although efforts have been given to do it on the basis of friction, addition, elasticity, damping, etc. But none of this technique worked very really well. Spectroscopy is the study of interaction of light with matter. Infrared spectroscopy is an optical technique that measures the absorption of infrared light to extract useful information about the sample. A spectroscopy can be used for chemical structure analysis, chemical fingerprinting, and chemical imaging. In IR spectroscopy, infrared light is shined through the sample and the transmitted light is collected in the detector to find the amount of light absorbed by the sample. The pattern of the absorption peaks in the IR spectra serves as a fingerprint that can be used to identify chemical species as different chemical species absorb different wavelengths of light. However, the main drawbacks of IR microscopy have been performance limits due to low brilliance of thermal IR sources and special resolution limits set by optical diffraction which is practically in the range of lambda to 3 lambda or 2.5 to 75 micrometer. AFM based infrared spectroscopy or AFM IR is a hybrid technique that combines the special resolution of atomic force microscopy with the chemical analysis capability of IR spectroscopy. This technique overcomes the major limitation of the predecessor techniques and combines the advantages of the both. It works by locally measuring the thermal expansion of the sample surface resulting from the optical absorption of IR radiation. The AFM tip here works as an IR detector. Since AFM tip can detect thermal expansion with subdiffraction resolution, this technique can give subdiffraction high resolution along with accurate spectroscopic capability. The AFM IR consists of a cantilever with a sharp tip at the free end. The tip is in contact with the sample. A tunable laser beam is focused at a particular spot of the sample to hit it. The oscillation of the cantilever is recorded by another laser beam through a detector. Of operation of AFM IR. One is spectroscopy and another is chemical mapping. Now let's see how they works. In spectroscopic mode, cantilever oscillation is measured as a function of frequency or wave number. The tunable IR laser emits light with varying frequency or wave number. When the frequency is equal to the absorbing wavelength of the sample, it is absorbed by the sample and the resulting temperature increase causes an instant thermal expansion of the sample at that hot spot. This thermal expansion acts as a force on the cantilever and drives it into oscillation. The oscillation is proportional to the absorption coefficient of the material under consideration. Since different material absorbs different wavelength, the absorption spectra we get from cantilever oscillation is used to accurately identify chemical species. In imaging mode, we get the distribution or mapping of the chemical in the sample. In this mode, the laser is tuned to a fixed wavelength and the absorption is measured as a function of position by raster scanning through the sample. For example, we want to identify the distribution of chemical X in a sample that has absorbing wavelength of 1000 nm. The IR laser is tuned to 1000 nm wavelength and the tip is raster scanned through the sample. When the tip is on the spot of the sample containing chemical X, the cantilever is driven into oscillation due to the absorption of 1000 nm IR light. In this way, the chemical distribution can be known in nanoscale resolution of atomic force microscope. This animation shows the overall working principle of AFM IR. IR light is incident on the sample, the incident light causing thermal expansion. This thermal expansion causes instantaneous oscillation in the cantilever, which is recorded through another laser and a detector. From the cantilever oscillation, we get the local absorption spectrum. 
the AFM IR technique can also measure mechanical properties of the sample like stiffness, elasticity, damping with nanometer scale spatial resolution. The peak frequency and the quality factor of the contact resonance can shift depending on these properties and this information can be extracted by simply performing a first Fourier transform on the cantilever ring down. AFM IR has numerous applications in both industry and academia. For example, it has been used for investigation in the field of nanophotonics, quantum dust, semiconductor electronics, pharmaceuticals, cultural heritage, measurement of bacteria and different cells, viral infected bacteria, protein aggregation, thin films, polymer material, and so on. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.